Why, in the first movie, when we see the emotions of other characters, do we not see any of the new emotions that Riley has in those other people's minds? Do they appear and then simply disappear in people's minds over time? That's a mystery that practically everyone is trying to understand after all the trailers for Inside Out 2 were released. As our mission is to unravel secrets, we've gathered all possible hypotheses about the outcome of the new emotion story. And trust me, you need to hear what we have to say about it now. Where did the new emotions come from? To talk about where emotions can go, it's important to know where they came from. Because they might go back exactly where they came from, since the same door you enter a place is usually the same one you exit through. And about that, we are pretty sure they emerge just like the old emotions, out of nowhere, or rather, from Riley's mind. Which means Riley's brain would already be pre-programmed to create each of them. But, unlike the other five emotions, they emerged but were not directed to the control center of Riley's mind. I believe they should have been in some place reserved for unused emotions because initially, Pixar wanted to release the movie with 17 emotions that would coexist in a kind of company with various rooms and environments. And it may be that this place really exists, where several emotions live and Riley's mind takes them to the control center as they become necessary in the girl's life. One point that proves this idea is that apparently all four new emotions already knew each other before they arrived in Riley's emotion room, since Anxiety introduced them all as if she knew well what each of them could do. In this case, it's clear that they must have arrived exactly through the same scaffold that the Mind employees demolished the control center in the first trailer. And remember, we mentioned that the same door you enter is usually the same one you exit through. Well, if that's where they came from, it might be where they'll return. But will that really happen? Life in the subconscious. If this hypothesis is true, and we really believe it is, it means the emotions know much more about Riley's subconscious paths than the old emotions, since the five always lived only in the place where the control center is located. And this seems to be normal in the minds of all humans, at least from what we saw in the first movie. Since we saw countless emotions in the minds of several people like Riley's parents, her teacher, or the pizza girl. And in the minds of these people, we always see the same five emotions, with a small detail. The lead emotion varies from person to person according to their personality. And besides the five emotions, we don't see any hint of the new emotions in these people's lives, which leads us to question, did any of the four new emotions ever exist in these people's minds? If so, where did they go now? And before answering that question, if you enjoy Inside Out, to relax your subconscious, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our next videos of cartoons and animated movies that will be amazing. Returning to talk about the four emotions, one of the most likely hypotheses would be that, just like in Riley's mind, they may have appeared in everyone's mind, but only during puberty. And after this phase, which can last from two to four years, depending on the person, they may have returned to their waiting room inside the mind, where they lived before going to the control center of emotions. If this is true, we can deduce that the same thing might happen with the four new emotions. But for that to happen, puberty needs to end, and that's only possible when something happens. Maturity. So, for this to happen in Riley's mind too, she will need to become much more mature and self-confident, which will never happen while only anxiety is controlling her mind. And if the five emotions never manage to return to the control center, Riley will never leave puberty. And she will be, mentally speaking, a teenager forever. That's exactly where another possibility, much heavier and sadder, arises. That the new emotions may be destined to disappear. Just as emotions simply arise according to the mind of the person who created them, they can likewise simply be erased and disappear. The biggest and saddest example of this is the beloved Bing Bong, who completely disappeared from Riley's head and ceased to exist. So we know this can happen when that being is no longer necessary and goes unused for a long time. And even with Anxiety, who was able to imprison the other emotions, thinking that she would simply cease to exist would be something very sad. The same would be true for any of the nine emotions, because that would sort of mean death for them. And death is never a cool thing, on the contrary. And this might have been what happened in the minds of Riley's parents, her teacher, and the girl who works in the pizzeria. In their cases, the emotions may have either left or gone through the door or construction scaffold they came from. Or they may have simply disappeared and fallen into the abyss of forgetfulness, just like Bing Bong. But yes, this is something that can happen, even not in this movie. Since for at least two years, we knew the four new emotions will be in Riley's mind. And yes, I said at least, because it's very likely that in reality, they'll spend much more time. In fact, they might even become part of Riley's life permanently. Living forever in Riley's mind. This would be the last and honestly the most likely possibility of what will happen in Riley's mind at the end of Inside Out 2. The idea would be that the nine emotions would start to coexist peacefully, which was actually Riley's brain's original plan from the start. And to be honest, I think who's going to help make this happen is our heroine Sadness. 
After all, she was the one who saved the day in the first movie, and I believe that in the second movie, she will be the link that unites the two groups of emotions. Since she knows well how hard it is not to be considered important, which basically was the same thing Joy did to her in the past, and now did again by preventing anxiety from messing with Riley's mind controls. That way, Sadness could understand, at least a bit, what anxiety was feeling, because it's pretty obvious that emotions have feelings, no matter how confusing that sounds. And so, Sadness would use the argument of empathy, since she herself went through it, but realized this time along with Joy that all emotions are actually necessary and have their important role in Riley's emotional development that they all love. Even envy must be important, even though I still don't know how. <laughs> if you believe that our little blue character can be our hero once again and inside out, put hashtag sadness in the comments to give that morale boost to the emotion that cries the most in the most emotional movie of all. The fact is that at this moment, anxiety may realize the mistake she was making, especially when noticing that Riley was feeling increasingly lonely and unhappy after the five basic emotions were suppressed, and that joy would now be the emotion she would need to put her life back in place. And, who knows, play the last game of the hockey championship, leading her team to victory. That would certainly be an epic ending. This way, we would have a fulfilled Riley and the emotions living peacefully in the girl's mind, and somehow trying to make the life of a person with a very busy mind work out, but at least victorious with everyone's help. But still, another interesting point to talk about would be the non-existence of the new emotions in other people's minds and why that happens. This could very well be proof that emotions can change according to generations. Yes, this is a very strong and real possibility. Perhaps the reason we don't see the four new emotions in the minds of any adults in the first movie is because they never actually existed in those people's minds. That's because, although these people may have experienced sensations like anxiety, embarrassment, ennui, and even envy at some point in their lives, it may have been so quick and fleeting that their minds may have decided not to create an emotion just to represent that emotional state, which definitely doesn't happen in Riley's mind, where these four feelings are so strong and intense that her brain created an emotion to represent each one of them. Furthermore, with the passing of generations, there's a great chance that the human mind will evolve and find new ways to make a person's life better. And it may be that one of these solutions is exactly to create new emotions, to make the mind much more complete and dynamic. Which, of course, didn't go very well in Riley's mind, as the emotions clashed and began to suppress each other. But maybe the four new emotions are present in all or only some of the members of the current generation that Riley is a part of. This would indicate that the human body and mind may be in constant growth and evolution, causing us to understand the existence of these four new emotions. So, they may start to emerge in the next generations and have a marked presence in the minds of every teenager who reaches puberty and become part of these people's lives forever. This has a very high chance of happening, but in reality, we'll only find out as Inside Out 2 unfolds. That's exactly what we believe will happen with the new emotions, although there are other possible outcomes for them too. In any case, we think that in the end, everything will work out for the best, especially for Riley. And as we always aim to do our best for you, we've left two amazing videos for you to watch and continue you having fun with us. Just choose and click on one. Thanks and see you next time.